All right, guys. We're gonna get started with a installation of Steamcast on Windows 8.1. Uh, to install Steamcast, you just need to obviously download the Steamcast server from www.steamcast.com and click on the Broadcast tab. Click on Windows XP 32-bit. Click Run. Uh, with the Windows uh, trying to protect your PC, that simply just means that we don't have a, the uh, security certificate associated with our installer. That's perfectly normal. It's not going to kill you. So click on Run Anyway. And now we'll just hit Next. And we'll want to install as a service. So hit Next. And then we can uncheck this. You can view the README if you wish. It just contains information about the history of uh, Steamcast. Click Finish. And now that it's installed and running as a service, all you need to do is go to localhost colon 8000 and it should be waiting for you running. To log in on uh, Windows, uh, we've provided a default configuration file for you. Um, so it's real simple. You just click on admin. Uh, you pass in admin as your username and then hack me as the password. H-A-C-K-M-E. Click OK. Probably one of the first things you want to do is go to admin and choose users and set a password that's different. And there we go. Now we can go back to the administration index and we'll want to use our new password. Uh, we've also provided a default mount in here, but in order to kind of show you the power of things, uh, we can simply delete it. And let's give you a whole new mount. Uh, click on add and just pick any mount name you like doesn't really matter. Hit create and then click on the mount name. In here is where you'll be able to see the status of this particular mount. Uh, the important tab will be configure. From here we'll want to add a new entry and select relay. Hit add field. Done. And then type in the address of any valid uh, mp3 AC plus NSV or AUG stream. We'll just use our dev server as a example. Feel free to use it as well as long as it's online you can uh, use it just to trial uh, using Steamcast. So once we've hit saved you might notice that it just kinda seems like nothing happens. Uh, we understand that we're definitely gonna work on making that a little bit uh, easier to understand but something did happen if you go to the stats panel you'll be able to see that now it's actually relaying the stream uh, we can go back to the administration index and we'll see some uh, information about this particular mount and as you can see in as little as three minutes I've installed Steamcast and set up a relay it's that simple in Windows uh, we can click play here and we can actually hear the audio. So long as your browser supports it, we'll actually embed the audio inside the uh, the panel. Uh, if the browser or if it doesn't support it or Flash is not installed, then it should load an external player like Winamp or XMS or whatever you listen to. Uh, once that's done, yeah, you're, you're now set to go. You're relaying. Uh, that should show you how simple and easy it is to relay with Steamcast. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.